So you want to get into display ads, but you don't have an art department and you don't feel like shelling out lots of money for graphic designers. Well, you can do it yourself. So you go to your ad group where you want to do a display ad. So you want to make sure it's in the display network and you go to new ad. And instead of text ad or image ad, you go to display ad builder right here. So you can see here are a whole bunch of different templates you can use. Um, you, they want to give you the newest first, but if you take a look, you can also look at most popular. Which one do you think I prefer? Yep, highest click through. So let's just take this one right here and get going on it. So just double click or even single click. And you can see here are the sizes that they're going to give you, um, which you can select or deselect. Ooh, groovy. So we're going to name our ad so that we can identify it in the dashboard. So we'll call this, uh, I'll do an ad for uh, online education. So we'll call it um, online courses register display. And we'll call it dark sky. Oops. Online Courses, Dark Sky. So headline, we'll call it, we'll give it the name of the institution. We'll say uh, St. Brutus's School. And as soon as we do that, it appears here for incurably criminal boys appears on the second line. And I think we want that to be white too. So uh oh, I'm not a graphic designer, but what I can do here is click on this and do that and it becomes white. And I want it to higher, so I just have to drag it right up there. Now I get another line here, description line two. So now offering online classes. Well, I want this uh, on the same line. How can I make that shorter? Well, just get rid of the now. Or take an online class. Now, you wouldn't be doing this here. You, of course, would know your best uh, headlines and description lines from your text ads. And what do we do on the click? But we don't want enter site. We want um, learn more dot dot dot. Let's see how that looks. Don't like the dot dot dot. Learn more. I want the color to be different. I want it to be a more actionable color. So orange there. Background I guess is fine. And then we put our display URL. Uh, St. Brutus Online dot co dot UK and then you fill in your uh, destination URL if it's different so uh, online classes and you're all set now we can see this in different different ways so we can look at it here's the 300 by 250 what does it look like is 336 by 280 do any of them look bad so you can see here, well, that one's pretty nice. I like the 460. So you might say, you know what, the 160 by 600 really looks bad, so I don't want to use that one, nor do I want to use the 120. Uh, yeah, that's okay, but I really like this one. So 468 by 600, we have that. By 60, we have that one, and then we have the two larger ones. So if I did something I didn't like, I can always just hit the back button to undo it. And then I can play with the entire color scheme here. So you can see here's a bunch of them. Uh, I can make the whole thing neon. Yikes. Thank goodness for the back button. There you go. So when you got something you like, you scroll down to Next, and it shows you all of the ads you've chosen. You know what? This is not so bad after all. I kind of like it.
So when we're happy with that, we click Save Add. And now we have, which one was it called? It was called Online Course Dark Sky, and it's given us these four sizes. And when we, since we start running it, it'll show us the details of those, just like any other ad. And that is how you do a display ad using the Display Ad Builder.